Well, well, we got a pickup to do. We're back here at Harvey Norman. Just thought I'd bring you along. Doing a slight little pickup here. So, yeah. Oh, I better put it over that side. Go this way. What have we got? We got a wash machine and a fridge. Hope that that no, that's good. That don't include. Oh, they pulled it apart. Without the balance. I make, tried to make it not work, I reckon. That's my opinion. We'll see what we can do with it. Bit of a jack of all trades. Thought that was my phone. That's all. I stopped and thinking, oh, is that my phone? It's always constantly ringing. Always wanted. Always needed. That's a good thing, really. At least I'm loved. <laughs> That's a good thing, isn't it? Being loved. Loved by a lot of people. Mm, they've taken the top rod off that. Yeah, they have. They've really got into that. Yeah. Damn. I'll try and treat it. Took the hose off. I've got plenty of hoses. Right, yeah. We're going to go this way. Try not to step on the cord. Find out what's wrong with it. One of those soft clothes lids. If I can't find out what's wrong with it, we'll just scrap it out like the rest. Machine or something like that. Go and find out whether she wants, whether she can, whether she wants to give me her old one. If you know what I mean, I take it, I take it away, I recycle it. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not going to bother with all these trays. Fridges aren't worth trying to, re to actually. Um, Regenerate when they're already here. We take all the plastic trays out. We leave them in their bin. I get enough plastic as it is. Just having a squeezy. <laughs> the go. They know I'm here. They know I come and get it. Which is good. Less plastic I have to get rid of. Alright, hang on to that. Get away with that. That's still got the plastic. Oh no, they've tried picking it up. That's the go, get rid of it that way. I know it shouldn't be thrown up there, but where else is it going to go? I'd rather fill up theirs than fill up ours. Yeah, we've got one of those. One of those bins. Ooh, we got a lot of copper in this, by the looks of it. Yeah, we'll leave that there, take that one out. Oh, come out. Nongchuk. Right, 
that looks like it's good enough to get rid of that too. A little bit of metal on it wouldn't matter. It's only a couple of little pieces on it. Probably in the back. Get going. How you going? You're a new guy, are you? What did I say? You're a new guy, are you? I'm just working in computers, I just come in and out when they need it. Ah, oh, fair enough. <laughs> they need workers, I need money. Like oh, we all do that. No, we all need that. We all need the cash. KFC is not cheap these days. No! <laughs> Home cooked meals cheaper. Right. <laughs> Having a joke with him. But yeah. Um, I seen that bottle in the bin there, so I'll grab it, grab it. I've got to tie that down yet. That was me. I don't think that's it. I'm not going through their bags. Put that in there, that in there. I'm all tied down. Take it home, see if that washing machine works. Right, we've unloaded the fridge. Uh, got back here fairly late. Had to do some other errands in town and get fuel, that sort of thing. Price of fuel, unbelievable. But anyway, um, I've plugged this washing machine in. I've just put it on spin for now. I have plugged the water hose in. Uh, put a drain hose on just in case it's got some water in it. Um, it didn't have one only put the cold water on um, gonna find out if it does spin I got pretty good luck that it may um, now I'll just show you around while that's doing what it needs to do on what we're doing around here uh, this week what videos will be coming out we will be putting all of our cans cartons and plastic through out of these bags there's 19 bags you got uh, 14 there 15 16 17 18 and one out there that's still getting filled up, 19. Um, we'll probably get two and do that later tomorrow, fill that up. Um, won't be putting the glass through, not this week, probably next week. Um, also too, while we're waiting on the washing machine, uh, the old fridge here, I might plug it in, even though I've thrown the uh, shelves away, see if it does work, you know. Give it a biting chance. The washing machine, ooh, it's it's doing things over there. <laughs> uh, this washing machine here, I've forgotten what's wrong with that. Uh, but anyway, on the home front of our scrapping out, it's spinning. It's spinning. Um, down here, you probably can't see it, but that's number two copper wire, uh, Cat5 cable and coax cable, that sort of thing. 
our number one copper here um, we're going to be getting to and stripping out all of our wire that's over here we've already started over here with all of our electric cords the extension cords uh, that'll go as number one but we've also got to find out whether there's aluminium in it so yeah we've got to scratch it and stuff like that I've uh, got a couple of uh, fridge motors that I'm going to try and process here I've got to take them apart and that sort of thing um, all of our electrical motors are down in here ones that um, I've pulled out of dishwashers, washing machines um, yeah that sort of thing um, we've also got here some old Christmas lights surprisingly we're still getting them now um, picked up a printer today didn't get it on camera brand new printer it was just sitting in a, in a scrapped up box I've seen it there on the, on the curb so I thought oh, I'll pick it up just have a look at it I thought it was someone just throwing one out it's brand damn new anyway um, all of our copper I've started sorting it out so there's number one and number two copper in our piping because um, if you've got you know dirty stuff on the end and a bit of tape and that sort of thing it goes as number two around the corner here that seems to be spinning pretty well over there around the corner here we've got some used mowers these two here go um, I've got one there for sale and the other one I'm going to hang on to myself all of our scrapped out mowers down here if I ever get around to fixing them might have another one going uh, I know that one goes just needs parts these gazebo um, shade things I'm just going to leave them as they are bundle them up tie them up and uh, they'll go out of scrap metal all of our washing machine bits and pieces here all of the shells I've folded them up and I'm going to use that tractor out there to compact them and tie them up with a bit of wire like I've sort of done with um, the aluminium to toy that I made uh, these are all the washing machine tubs anyone want a fire bucket there's a good fire bucket <laughs> um, that's all stainless they say it's stainless but yeah I, I've uh, put a magnet on them and they, it doesn't stick so yeah it must be stainless um, then we come down the line here there's another stainless drum up there uh, a couple of fridges there that are still empty microwaves I've stripped out right here um, that was an old fridge I've actually kept the main frame of it in there going to use it as a cupboard real old heavy fridge um, I got a lot of copper out of that one damn I got a lot of copper um, also there's another little bar fridge there that I actually picked that up in the side of the road unbelievable right next to a dump pile someone's been dumping rubbish on the side of the road and I thought oh, I'll pick that up I'll do me do the right thing uh, what I'm doing with all the fridges um, you can probably see here with this one save me getting up there and showing you what I've got up there I stack all the non-ferrous metals inside them because I've got to take them at least two and a half hours away from where we live here um, but this is what I mean by this one it's got a nice stainless steel door on this one she's just packed jam packed and what I do is I tech screw that down so it doesn't open I've already got two there full two there full uh, we've got aluminium down here aluminum or aluminium what do you there's extruded aluminium there as well so I've just got to sort that out um, Oh, get down we've got uh, the cores out of air conditioners and that sort of thing they've got copper there but it goes goes as dirty copper because it's got aluminium on the outside aluminium fins just too much work to try and pull it apart so I'm going to leave it as it is these are our blocks that we pressed up 15 kgs there uh, we've got some light fittings here that June's actually got to and pull all apart uh, all of our aluminium cores out of fridges and that sort of thing that's in the wrong spot that drum that should be up that way uh, aluminium there uh, that's not extruded that's extruded there and there bit more steel out the back the old mower's not going anywhere and I scored here how's this I scored some bent up aluminium rims wow so they're going to go in with all of our stuff um, but yeah, that's on the home front. We'll get back to this washing machine over here. And kitty gate there too. So it's best to, if you can recycle something, it's the best way to do it. Yeah, she seems to be spending pretty well. What's the time left on that? 
eight minutes, started, oh, down to seven minutes. I did start it on 16, that's what it was. So I think all I will need to do is put this back on, probably rivet that back into the top, because you can see how it's been ripped out here. Um, and I'll give it a good cycle. What I mean by cycle is that I'll give it all, go through all of the cycles on the knob, see if it doesn't wash and everything like that, but I've got to put that back in first. I just thought I'd put it on the spin because the earth wire is actually cut. See, the earth wire is cut, so it goes down over there. I'm not going to touch it. I just plug the cord in. They can run without an earth wire, it doesn't matter. So it's, the trail is actually earthed out to the ground. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah, not much else I can say about the old washing machine, but I'll keep you posted on how I went with this washing machine, whether I get it going or um, I've got to just scrap it out. Doesn't look like there's much wrong with it. But uh, yeah, hope you like this video. I'm gonna end it off there, everyone. Oh, I forgot to show you something. Hang on before I go. Um, what we've been doing with our wire, like I was saying is, June's actually loving this machine. Yeah. Move our towel out of the road. Got our press there, I've got to press up some aluminium. Got a starter there. Put that there. Um, with our stripper, wire stripper, this is only a new gadget that we got. Good old eBay, you can't go wrong. <laughs> um, just can't do it at this time of night because it's too dark, you can't see in there. We put a battery operated drill on there and it just spins away and you feed the wire in and away you go. It did come with a handle, but we thought, why stand up and do it? Sit down and do it. You have a little little knife here to, um, if you need it, and drill operated, feed it in, yeah. So that's where we've come up to um, all of this underneath, all of this stuff. So that's yet to be stripped out, down to the single core, and get our number one copper. We've got that bin there and this one here, so we got a fair bit. Anyway. That's definitely going to do it for this video. I'll give you a follow-up like I was saying with this washing machine. Looks like it's going to work okay. Five minutes to go. Jeez, time flies when I'm talking. Yep. I think that's what I'll do. Getting dark, getting late. I'm going to have some dinner. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah. I'll see you all on the flip side, everyone.